Everyone who is born in this great land has only one identity that we all are Indians. A very happy Republic Day to all from our YouTube channel. So today I am coming with a very interesting or fascinating video today that the five most common HTTP errors come up while browsing. So let's stop this music and get back to their work and make our nation proud. So today, the interesting part of today's video is, as you all can see the thumbnail of the video, like we are coming across with the errors every day while searching, while browsing, and you will get some like uh, frustration or irritation while having these errors. So it's very important to recognize this error or these errors through which you all can understand the basic problem that is occurring inside that website or that is system okay so let's start with the second slide okay so here is the slide what are http errors so the errors which are coming across while browsing while searching while googling so these are coming across by the http errors so what are HTTP errors that we will going to discuss today? Sometimes like when you are having a question in your mind and you go to the website and just uh, click the key points that you want to search and the web page will like having a HTTP error message and it's a message from the web server that provides the service to you. So something went wrong in some cases it would be a mistake you made and often it's the site's fault. Each type of error has an HTTP error code dedicated to it. So basically like if you are searching on the um, on the Google Chrome or any other favorite search engine. So you will might have uh, some errors and these errors are called as HTTP errors. What are HTTP? hypertext transfer protocol so there are various types of errors various types of http errors that we are going to understand in the further slides so first one is error is http error 500 this is also known as internal server error okay as you can see the uh, name of that error that is internal server server error so basically, it's a general purpose error message for when a server or a, for when a web server encounters some form of internal error. Like, for example, if I give you an example, uh, the web server could be able to overload it and therefore unable to handle request properly. Like, like I am having a, a SEC exam. Okay. And I want to fill the form at the last stage, at the last date of that site closed. Okay. So the uh, site will not able to overload the user's request at that time, at that last time. So it will show the error of HTTP error 500. So this may be the error from the server's site or maybe the error from his uh, site's fault. Okay. So coming to the next slide, that is second error is HTTP error 403 or we can say that 403. So this is the error which is known as forbidden error. So this error is similar to the 401 error but note the difference between unauthorized or forbidden. Various, in this case no login opportunities were available. Okay. So 403 HTTP error, in this case, we don't have any authentications like any credentials like, like we have to put the password, user ID or anything else. For example, if you are trying to access a forbidden directory on a website, so it will show an error called HTTP error 403. Okay, that's all. So. Coming to the third error that is HTTP error 404. 
that is known as not found i hope guys this the error which all of the users all of the visitors are seeing this video have come across this error right so this is very important to learn the errors knowledge because either from your technical background or non technical background you must be fight with these errors one day and this is very important to having a knowledge either from your from technical or non technical world so the third error is the http error 404 that is known as not found error and we also known called like page not found like if you are searching any page if you are searching any website if you are searching any web page then the error come across like page not found so here are some four key points which i have mentioned there so one by one we will be discussing like most of the people are bound to recognize this one a 404 error happens when you try to access a resource on a web server usually a web page that doesn't exist okay like if you are searching any web page on the web server so this web page doesn't exist so it will throw an error called as http error 404 some reasons for this happening can for example be broken link mistyped url or that the webmaster has moved the requested page somewhere else or deleted it whatever it is but the error come across is error 404 the page not found so to counter the ill effect of broken links some website set up custom pages for them okay you have to do something settings or like this may be done from the broken links or it may be the servers deleted that page that you are accessing from your browsing okay so this is this is the error which came across now the fourth error that is http error 400 that is bad request so as the name suggest bad request error known as error 400 so these are the pictures which i have put it in my slide to make you better understanding like how can we identify the bad request okay so this is the basically an error message from the web server telling you that application you are using for example your web browser accessing it incorrectly or that the request was somehow corrupted on the way like if you are accessing that web page it somehow it's been correct corrupted so you are not able to uh, access that page so the uh, the error is thrown out that is bad request the error is 400 error coming to the fifth http error that is 401 that is unauthorized error okay so this is the error which i have already discussed unauthorized means author authentication is necessary okay this error happens when a website visitor tries to access a restricted web page but isn't it authorized to do so usually because of failed login attempt so if you are accessing that web page and you are not uh, putting the right username user id password then you will not having that page and you will get an error called unauthorized error or error 401 so thank you for all uh, for watching this video this is all for today Thank you and if you like my video please like the hit button and please subscribe my channel if you are new at my channel thank you all